This is what the Moulin Rouge looked like on Thursday after the sales of the landmark red windmill fell to the ground overnight. Jean-Victor Clerical is the general manager of the celebrated Cabaret Club. The Moulin Rouge in 135 years of history has experienced many adventures, but it is true that for the sales, this is the first time that this has happened. He added that no one was injured in the incident. A spokesperson for the Moulin Rouge said the theatre would investigate the cause of the incident with experts and insurers. Clerical said whatever the cause, it was not intentional. The Moulin Rouge was founded in 1889. It became a global symbol of end-of-the-century Parisian culture. Its famed can-can dancers have been widely depicted in paintings by avant-garde artists of the era. Nowadays, the audience is largely made up of tourist groups. Florence Chevalier is visiting from Germany. It's weird for me. It is Paris. It's like the Eiffel Tower. It's Paris. It's weird. You can't say it any other way. And it wasn't just tourists that came to see what happened. Laurence Plou lives next door. I heard it on the radio. As I live next door, I wanted to come and see with my own eyes what it was like, and it's very sad. It's not a moulin anymore. It lost its sails. It has lost its soul. Amongst a slew of European earnings, consumer goods companies were in the spotlight on Thursday. Nestle missed Q1 sales estimates as it hiked prices and sold fewer products, particularly in North America. The world's biggest packaged food company, boasting brands like KitKat and Nescafe, confirmed its 2024 guidance of about 4% growth in organic sales. The Swiss company's CEO said the firm had expected a slow start to the year, and is seeing a strong rebound in the second quarter. The packaged goods industry has hit shoppers with higher prices for over two years, passing on to customers higher input costs, prompted by the global health crisis and exacerbated by the war in Ukraine. These higher prices have hurt sales volumes at consumer goods giants like Nestle that have lost ground to cheaper brands. But seemingly this is not so for Unilever. The British consumer goods company won back the shoppers who'd traded down to cheaper brands. Shares in the company, makers of Dove Soap and Hellman's Mayonnaise, rose after it reported a 4.4% rise in underlying sales growth. It marks the second quarter of growth after several declines. Unilever also kept its full-year guidance for sales growth. The company's price hikes gradually slowed in 2023, and that trend continued in the first quarter of this year. Europe today is mortal. It could die. That's what French President Emmanuel Macron warned on Thursday in a speech at the Sorbonne University in Paris. He called for stronger, more integrated European defences as he outlined his vision for an increasingly assertive European Union on the global stage. We have to be clear about the fact that our Europe today is mortal. It could die. It could die, and that depends solely on our choices. Thursday's speech was billed by Macron's advisers as France's contribution to the EU's strategic agenda for the next five years. With just three years left of his second and final term in office, the 46-year-old wants to show his critics he retains the energy and fresh thinking that brought him the presidency in 2017. In the nearly two-hour monologue, he said Russia must not be allowed to win in Ukraine and called for a boost in Europe's cybersecurity capacity, closer defence ties with Britain and a European academy to train high-ranking military personnel. The Sino-American tension has led to a growth in spending on arms and technological innovation, to the increase in military capability. We now have regional powers which are increasing their capacity, Russia and Iran to mention just two. And Europe is in a situation of being encircled, pushed by a number of these powers on its borders and sometimes from within. Macron has long called for European strategic autonomy involving less reliance on the United States, 
a stance that has gained greater resonance in the face of Donald Trump's bid to return to the White House. The presidential hopeful has often accused Europe of freeloading on defense at the U.S. expense. Building a Europe that can show that it is never the vassal of the United States of America and that it also knows how to speak to all regions in the world. Many EU officials believe there is currently no credible alternative to the U.S. military umbrella. The French leader will be hoping Thursday's speech will have the same impact as the similar address at the Sorbonne he made seven years ago that prefigured some significant EU policy shifts.